Good morning, friends, and happy Friday. It's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. Friends, have you been noticing that now that we are all quarantined, that you are cooking or baking more? Well, I have been. I bake throughout the winter a lot and quite a bit during the spring and not too much during the summer other than birthday cakes and cookies. But you know what? We're all here. Last time I went to the store, which was quite a while ago, they only had large quantities of sugar and flour. So when you have a 10 pound bag of sugar and a 10 pound bag of flour, well, of course you have to bake. So I'm always on Pinterest looking for great recipes, but what really inspired me was the pan that I'm going to use. So I'm gonna to talk to you and show you my pans and then let you know what we're going to make today. So here are my donut pans, which I'm not making donuts today, but I did wanna show them to you. So for Christmas, maybe a couple of years ago, Kaylee gave me one donut pan and she also gave me some donut mix with it as well. And then when Raleigh and I were at one of the thrift stores, maybe in, I think in Las Vegas one time, um, and we found another one for like a dollar or two, something very cheap. So of course I had to pick it up. So now I have two donuts pans. So I think this weekend I want to try out a couple of recipes and make some nice homemade cake donuts. I love donuts guys if you didn't know that about me already. This pan is a pampered chef pan and look at that guys isn't that so pretty that's a nice pretty teal color and one of my friends um, from high school actually had like an online pampered chef party and so I bought that to help support her party and I just think this is so cute it's a mini bunt pan and so that's what we're going to make today we're going to make lemon blueberry bundt cakes I just think I've never made them before but I think they're going to be fun and I love lemon and I love blueberries so here's the blog on Pinterest that I found called Pennies Into Pearls, and that's where I found the lemon blueberry mini bundt cake recipe that I'm going to be using to make today, and that's what hopefully it's going to look like when it's done. Doesn't that look delicious? So I'm going to get out the rest of the ingredients. I got out my eggs already, got the blueberries out of the freezer, so let me get out the rest of the ingredients, and we Here's can get the ingredients that you're going to need to make the blueberry lemon mini bun cakes. So we need 10 tablespoons of butter. So I have two sticks, and then I'll just need to cut away the sticks because one stick of butter is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tablespoons. And then I'll need two tablespoons from there. And then we're going to need sugar, which we have right here, two cups of sugar, eggs, four eggs, which I have over here on this side. So here's eggs right here. And then we're going to need vanilla one teaspoon of vanilla, flour, which I have in this container, two and a half cups flour, and then two and a quarter teaspoons of baking powder, which is right here, salt, which is in the little salt container right there, and milk, one and a quarter cups milk. And so I don't have whole milk, which is what it calls for, and I'm sure it's because, you know, you want the fat in the recipe, but that's okay. I'm just gonna use half and half, and I'm sure it'll be fine. And then you need plain vanilla or some type of Greek yogurt, which I have right there. And then lemon juice. I don't have any fresh lemons, but that's fine. I'll just use that. And then blueberries, which I showed you already, which are right here. I'm using frozen blueberries, but I'm sure that you could use fresh blueberries as well. I'm sure that would be great. And then for the glaze, all we need for the glaze is powdered sugar. And I have that um, in the cupboard already in which I'll get out um, when we need it. All right, let's get started. When I bake, I like to use my mixer to mix everything in. And so we're gonna start with the butter. The butter is supposed to be room temperature, but if your butter is not, um, just pop it in the microwave for about 10 seconds. And that will be fine. That's what I usually do. And now we need two cups of sugar. So I'm going to measure out my sugar and put that in there. I have never bought a 10 pound bag of sugar, but with the current situation that we're in with COVID, you know, supplies are limited when you go out to the grocery store. So that's what they had and that's what I got. All right, so we're going to mix this until it is a little bit light and fluffy. 
So let me put that in there. And I know some people like to use their hand mixer. And I use my hand mixer every once in a while, usually when I'm using like boxed um, cake mixes and stuff. I don't know why, but um, I love to use my mixer. All right, that's what it looks like with the butter and the sugar all mixed together. And now, um, and while that was working itself out, I went ahead and put my four eggs in a bowl. I always like to put my eggs separately if I am feeling like I might not, might get some shells in there. So I'm gonna add in the eggs and the vanilla. So we need one teaspoon of vanilla, and I have pure um, vanilla right here, and let me add that in, and then we'll get this mixed together. All right. Now that everything is mixed together very well, we're going to start adding in the dry ingredients. So we're going to put the flour, the baking powder, and the salt in. Okay, so I added two and a quarter cups all-purpose flour, two and a quarter cups baking powder, and half a teaspoon salt, and now we're going to mix that together. And I always like to start off slow so the flour doesn't go all over the place, and we'll get that all mixed up. Okay, I'm not gonna mix that too much, just enough to get the flour melded in with the wet um, ingredients that were in there. And then I'm gonna stop and I'm going to put the other ingredients, the milk, the yogurt, the lemon juice, and put all that together, together in a bowl. And then um, I'll add that to this ingredients in just a minute. So I put in the milk, one and a quarter cup of actually using the half and half, and then I put in half a cup of the yogurt, and then three tablespoons of lemon juice. So I'm mixing that all together. All right. And I, when I'm mixing the wet ingredients, I like them. I like to use my Pampered Chef, just this glass um, pitcher, because then it has the spout where you can easily just pour it out, and everything just comes out nice and easy. So, and so I went ahead and got my blueberries ready um, to go as well, because I'm sure that right after I add the wet ingredients to the bowl, I'm going to be needing to add the blueberries. And um, I'm just using um, these blueberries right here that I got from Sprouts. They don't have to be organic. It just happened to be what they had. And so I just, I didn't do anything to them. I just took them right out of the bag. So they're frozen. Probably took them out of the freezer probably 10 minutes ago, maybe 15. And then I just dusted them very lightly with flour. I read years ago that if you do that when you're using frozen blueberries, um, if you dust them with flour just a little bit, it just helps them meld better into the recipe. Okay, so now I'm going to add the wet mixture. I'm gonna put in, you know, the milk and the yogurt, maybe about half of it. I'm gonna blend this up a little bit and then I will add the other half to the bowl. All right, now I'm going to add the remainder of it. Just let it all get in there. And then we'll continue mixing. Again, we don't want to over mix. We just want everything to get melded together nicely. All right, everything looks like it's mixed very well. I think, yeah, I think so. So now I'm going to get this ready to fold in the blueberries, but I just want to make sure, give it one little nice mix and make sure everything is feeling good. <laughs> okay. All right, let me take this over to the other counter and let's get ready to fold our blueberries in. So if you look up the recipe, it's going to tell you to use three quarters of a cup of blueberries. And you know what guys, that just didn't seem enough to me with the amount of flour and other ingredients that we were using. Even as I'm mixing it right now, it really doesn't seem like it's enough blueberries. And I put in one cup of blueberries. So I don't know guys, I mean, I don't really see, it's not really blueberry, blueberry, and I'm, I'm, I feel like it's not going to be enough. So actually, I'm going to add more blueberries because I really like it to be blueberried up. 
Okay, I'm adding another full cup of blueberries. So the recipe called for three quarters of a cup of blueberries. I initially put in one cup and I added in a whole other cup. I hope I just didn't do something bad, but you know what? We'll see when it's all made and what they taste like. They're gonna be very blueberry and very lemony. Maybe the person that did the recipe likes lemon more than blueberries, I don't know. But I like them equally as well. So, I don't know, I just... So I already have my pan all ready to go. I've already sprayed it very generously with cooking spray. And so now I'm going to get that and I'm gonna put it in there. Okay guys, while I was off camera, I put away all the refrigerated ingredients and I cleaned off the counter just a little bit because, you know, we need to clean as we go. The recipe does not say how many actual bundt cakes you can make with the recipe. So I might have filled these up just a little bit too much. I don't know. So we'll see. And then I had more um, ingredients left over. So I went ahead and just got a small loaf pan and I put the rest in there. So I'm sure that that'll make a nice um, lemon blueberry loaf cake as well. So I'm getting ready to put these in the oven. It says that these are supposed to take um, 18 to 20 minutes. So we'll see about that. So I have the oven set already at three 350 degrees. I'm going to put both of these in the oven. Okay, so this is 15 minutes and you can see that they definitely need more time. So I'm going to set the timer for about another 10 minutes. So here we go. Mini Bundt Cakes are out of the oven and loaf bread is out of the oven. So I'm going to let these cool for about half an hour. Okay friends, I don't know if I told you this when I first started putting the recipe together, but the reason why I'm baking today is I'm making little treats for a few of my friends in my rosary group. And so after I took the mini bun pans out of the pan and that was easy all I did was just flip it over and they popped right out I decided that I didn't want to put the glaze on it and add more sugar because you know we're all trying to watch that sugar intake already so I just went ahead and sprinkled on some powdered sugar lightly sprinkled on and then I really wasn't sure what I was going to put all this in and really what I was going to add to the treats. So I didn't prepare well. And so I just have these plates that are just kind of a Hawaiian theme. They were left over from a luncheon we had, I think. And then I found these white doilies. I always have um, doilies around the house somewhere, if not in the kitchen, in the craft room. So I just put a doily down. I put the bundt cake on it. And then I already had these little, these were left over from Valentine. So they're kind of just in my um, Valentine cookie cupboard. I've already started buying some um, Easter candy just to make little treats for, you know, Happy Meal or for the kids or just to have around the house, whatever. So I have these um, sweet tarts. They're bunnies, chicks, and eggs, I think. And so I put those in there. And then these um, almonds I buy locally at our one of the local um, stores here at the local nut house that's here. And then, of course, we always have these around the house because we buy them in big boxes like that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use some plastic wrap. And yes, we buy our plastic wrap like this. You can see that we bought this one on December 15, 2016, and it's still going. <laughs> so anyway, so I'm just going to wrap these up in plastic. I already have their Easter cards ready because I was actually just going to mail them, but now I'm just going to include them here. And guys, I, as soon as I do that, I'm going to be off and I'm going to deliver them to their home. All right, friends. Well, I just got back from delivering all five of the little treats for my friends. So I sent them a text message and just said, check your front porch. So we are actually, I delivered to my rosary group. I think I told you that. And we are actually going to be meeting to pray um, at two o'clock, which is in about 20 minutes or so. So I made it back just in time to finish cleaning up the kitchen and go upstairs and get logged on and get ready for rosary. So friends, I hope that whatever you're doing, this Friday, today, and this weekend that you are staying home, staying healthy, and staying safe. I'll be praying for you. Bye-bye.